subscribe now. EU debates. Very much and good afternoon. Thank you also for your patience because we had prolonged debates in the plenary. Um, this, this House, the European Parliament, some years ago, uh, identified 12 areas where it determines the existence of a clear risk of a serious breach by Hungary of the values referred to in Article 2, which are the values of the Union. And I would like to go through them very quickly because it's important that we remember why we are here today and why we're discussing what we are discussing in the plenary today. The functioning of the constitutional and electoral system, the independence of the judiciary and of other institutions and the rights of judges, corruption and conflicts of interest, privacy and data protection, freedom of expression, academic freedom, freedom of religion, freedom of association, the rights to equal treatment, the rights of persons belonging to minorities and protection against hateful statements against such minorities, the fundamental rights of migrants, asylum seekers and refugees, economic and social rights. And some weeks ago, uh, Viktor Orban, in a statement in Romania, was talking about superior races. And I have not heard such a thing and such a message since, you know, the Second World War. Well, each and every one of these areas and of these situations is of deep concern. My legitimate question is, how come the Council does not decide to move forward? This is a shame. And we should take these decisions quickly. It is a duty of each and every member state to defend the values of the Union through this kind of decisions as well. Um, and then maybe about the conditionality mechanism, because we kept discussing about it, and it's really important uh, to, for the Commission to continue and to trigger this, this uh, conditionality. This is not targeted against the Hungarian people. This message is pure propaganda. That's not true. It is not the Hungarian people suffering, you know, uh, uh, triggering the mechanism. It is the, gov the, the Hungarian governing doing this to the Hungarian people. And ultimately, and this is something that Renew proposed, we have an amendment tabled, we would like to use smart conditionality so that the money ultimately, ultimately reaches the, the, the beneficiaries and the, the people don't have to suffer the consequences of being, uh, you know, misfortunate with such a government and with such decisions. And last but not least, and I will, I will close here, I've heard my colleagues um, from, from Fidesz and so on in the plenary uh, today. Um, it, it, it was interesting uh, to, to, to hear all of these you know, messages coming from them, and I, I, I forgot to ask them whether they received their salary this month, the European money that they are receiving. Uh, because... Uh, uh, in, in July, they were asking for the dismantling of the European Parliament. And this is such a huge contradiction. It sounds like a form of, of conflict of interest for me and a form of hypocrisy and, um, you know, um, absurd situation that I, I really do not understand. And that I don't understand why they continue to come here and take their European money uh, if they do not believe in the European institutions and in the European values, as a matter of fact. Thank you. Thank you. And now for the left.